Hello everybody, welcome back to The Breakdown. I'm Tone, it's fantastic to have you watching yet another one of my videos. Uh, I'm not sure, I think I'm probably going to put this in the real money uh, playlist and uh, just the daily breakdown playlist because I think it applies to both. I really want to keep this video very, very short. I simply want to discuss the real money and what's going on with the gold and the silver price and less so the the platinum price because they all apply but in differing degrees so let's start off with the platinum price mostly platinum is an industrial metal and so at the moment manufacturing and all those sorts of things that require platinum just seem to be cooling off and uh, so that's managing to keep it under pressure. Uh, I don't believe that it's being measured at its true value, though. So I think it's a fantastic buy. Again, remember, all of what I'm sharing is not financial advice. So do your own research. But I do believe that platinum is a very good price at this point in time. But the main context of this video is to talk about what's going on in the gold and silver market at the moment and what has been going on for a very, very long time. But this is a very good example of just what is going on. Um, now, we've recently seen, and I'll talk mostly about silver because that's where this whole issue is more exacerbated. Okay. Um... The silver price recently went up in Australian dollar terms to $38.40, $38.50, around that point, and just looked like it was really taking off. The technicals on any charts were showing that, you know, if it could breach that level, it would continue higher. Now, Again, the chartists and the technicalities and everything like that, all the chart lines started to indicate that it didn't break that, and of course then the price falls. But why? Have the fundamentals of the financial stress that this entire world is under, the US dollar collapsing, the Australian dollar basically in connection with the reserve currency of the world, collapsing um, everything racing to the bottom as fast as it can why is that not being seen in re being reflected in the gold and the silver price yet we're seeing big sharp surges in both gold and silver we saw gold hit record highs in us dollar terms and in australian dollar terms now we've seen a sharp pullback in in gold silver right now challenging that $34 mid range that's a $4 drop in the price of silver in Australian dollar terms so a, a drop like that after a really strong sort of rally that would indicate that there must be some form of that's really helpful <laughs> uh, it's what 2 30 a.m in the morning must be doing deliveries for the restaurants uh, in this vicinity uh, so a sharp incline like what we just had and then it challenges that top of upper band um if you're a chartist and then it collapses off again now we're coming into the Christmas season. If the fundamentals haven't changed, we've got to ask the question, why, as another YouTuber has coined the phrase, why is the price of gold and silver, silver especially, being monkey hammered so sharply? Simple case and point is... If you can distract people, have them believing that fiat currency is real money, and then challenge the narrative that 
us, you know, we want to explain, we, I mean YouTubers and gold bugs and silver bugs, we want to explain that gold and silver are real money. How do you challenge that narrative? By every time gold and silver looks like it's going to realize or that they are going to realize their real, true, fundamental value, the price gets hammered down to the downside just as fast, if not faster than what it rose. That's how they keep anyone that's sort of on the fringes going, should I follow that kind of suggestion that I'm seeing on these YouTube videos or, or um, you know, the, you don't certainly get, don't get this advice or this um, advice is not the right word. These suggestions from practicing financial advisors who should be telling you to get this stuff. No, you get unqualified um, non-financial advisors who are putting their own money where their mouth is suggesting that it might be a good idea. And then you get these price hammering um, events like what we've got going on right now. Translation, buying opportunities. Again, not financial advice, speaking from just what I'm personally doing. Buying opportunities. Anytime you see discounts in the price Ask yourself why. People get onto these FOMOs, fear of missing out. They grab, they, there would have been, at least from what I can see in the data that I look at, the bullion dealer that you now know I follow and purchase from, you can look at the stock reduction happening in that surge from $33.50, $34.50 a month ago, all the way up to $38.50 and the stock reduces at a rapid rate. And then the buying slows down as the price drops. This is the exact opposite of what you want to be doing. We're looking at an opportunity right now. If you were waiting and thought, you know, that looks like it's just getting expensive. Maybe I should wait. Fantastic. Well done. That was a good thing. It's probably not a bad idea to allocate some of your fiat rubbish to real money around about now. And understand that a large portion of why they not only suppress the price in uh, fiat dollar terms, they or fiat currency terms, they suppress the price of both metals. They're really just making the point. They're doing that to discourage you, me, Others that might be about to or already do, maybe we should wait until the price drops a little bit more. Maybe we should wait until the price drops a little bit more. Then bang, up again. Everybody runs quick, get some. And then, oh, gee, we, we bought a little bit too high because the price has come off. Let's hold off again. Gee, maybe it's not the investment I thought it was. And that's it. It's not an investment. It's not an investment, it's a hedge. And the best way to get the good bang for your buck, hedging, is to wait until they monkey hammer the price down and then you grab some more. So I hope that that is a word of encouragement for you. If you are looking at being involved with and haven't already started to get into the practice of storing real money and having your wealth protected, these are the opportunities you look for when they sharply drop the price. Look at how volatile it's been, how the, the longer term trend is up, but how every time it goes up and looks like, finally, we're going to break new ground. We're going to push the boundaries to the higher level. No, it's not going to sustain that and it's going to have that pullback. Those pullbacks are only happening because they're allowed to happen. They're made to happen. I firmly believe gold is worth way more than what it's priced at. I firmly believe that silver is even more the case, worth more than what it's priced at. Especially looking at its overall trajectory from way back 
and how far gold has come up. Silver has not followed yet. So anyway, I, I hope that that's an encouragement. That's what I was hoping for this video, to simply just be an encouragement. Look at what's happening. Understand why it's happening like that. And understand the psychological effect that it's likely having on you and others like you who are either already involved in the stacking process or have been thinking about it. And how many times do you think maybe yourself or others have decided, am I gonna, am I gonna? No, I won't because it just, I don't feel comfortable. Why is it being hammered like that? I purchased a little bit perhaps and then the price just got hammered all the way down. I was purchasing, I'll finish on this point, I was purchasing silver in 2011, 2012, when the price had sort of gone up and hit its peak. And this is silver in particular. It had hit its peak. And I was buying at that time. It dropped off from $34 an ounce, not at its peak, but around the time that I was sort of really getting into it at that stage. It dropped all the way off to $18 an ounce. Boy, did I feel like a bit of a foolish uh, so-and-so. But at that time, I didn't understand why they were doing that to the price. And I'm also observing it's not as easy for them to do that. We're not having the bigger, bigger pullbacks. Now, that's not to say that silver can't go down that low and that gold, I would suggest gold certainly can't go a whole lot lower. But it's not to say that they can't push the price of silver down to another floor price again, you know, into the 20s. I don't think, I don't think it's very likely, but there's nothing stopping them from doing it on the paper market side of things. But good luck being able to buy silver at any price near spot. If you can, wow. But it's always going to be, um, you know, that certain amount above that because of the margins for the processing and everything. Anyway, you already know my take on all of this. I harp on about it for 12 minutes in this video like that. But please don't be discouraged. Be encouraged. Be um, motivated to protect yourself. And don't take these moments where they just look like they're going to hammer the price down and make you feel silly because you got in too early. We're on a long-term plan if we're looking at this stuff. Anyway, look, that's it. Um, the video that I was hoping was only going to be five minutes, six minutes. When is it ever that short when I'm on a mini rant about real money? Thank you for joining me. I um, hope it was encouraging. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And until next time, take care and God bless.